So now we have to create one more page and when someone will click on this list to NFT marketplace, we want to redirect them to the resale NFT page where they can put the price and, and they can relist the NFT to the marketplace. Okay, so this is the logic which I want to follow. Okay, so you can do with the pop up, but I want to do with a separate page. Okay, so let's create a page. So click on this and before we do that, let's come here, click on this and go to this descriptions and if we come here here we have that button so let's scroll down here we have that button okay so this is the first check we are doing this is the second for buy and this is the list on marketplace and here we go to attach that function okay this is the function where we want to attach let's come here close this one and we have to go to this context and in this context where it is where it is here we have this function create sales okay and in this create cell we have this two function so if user try to create the new nft then we want to call this create token function but if user try to resell the nft to the marketplace then we want to call this resell token function okay so that's the two change we have to do so this is the data we have to pass in this create cell that's looking fine so far that's the resale we have and here we go to call this function resale token and we go to pass these data so far things are looking good let's close this one and now we have to create a page so let's create that we'll call it resale token js we'll type rafc okay now come here close this one we have to call the css file as well so let's create a that resale dot modules dot okay that's the css file let's do the import style and that's coming from the style folder and this is called resale token okay that's basic thing let's come here close this one and come back here let's come here and go to this nft detail page in here we're going to click on this we're going to go to the description and we're going to attach this function so which redirect to the resale page okay so first we have to use import the router okay so we'll say import use router and that's coming from next router that's the router we have and now we can come down here and here we're going to simply take the router okay router and this router is coming from user router simple logic you guys have already seen that and now we're going to attach that function that router here in this button okay so we'll say router dot push and we want to push it to the what is the name we have called resale token okay this is the name we have given to the page okay save it Let's close this one and let's keep it this open resale token because here we go to write this JSX and all the logic. So looking fine. Let's come back here and reload the browser. And you can see this is the button we have list on marketplace. So if you click on this and here we have redirect to the resale token okay page and here we're going to allow user to put the price and so reselling the smart car uh, reselling the NFT okay looking fine this one now let's come back to the code and here we go to write that JSX so we'll take this div it will have a class called style dot and we'll call it resale token we'll have another div it will have a class resale token dash box or inside this we go to use the form component which we have created okay so we're going to use that. So let me come here, go to this account page. Inside the form here, we're going to take this first div, okay? We need only one input. Simply copy that and simply paste right here. So we'll have this form. And if we have to change the name, so we'll call it, let's say, price. So that's what we have here. Here we're going to display the resale price. And here we have to import the form style file, okay? Because we want to have the styling. And that's coming from the account page slash form slash modules form okay so that's the style file we have let's come back and do the page and here you can see it's looking fine now simply copy this and we have to add that styling to the form okay so let's replace this one this one and the second one simply replace this both and save it let's come here you can see that's how it will look our input is already ready and now we can utilize it okay so let's copy that this copy this sees and come back to this with is going to be hundred percent margin let's say block is going to be 4 amp so we'll have some space from top and bottom and we have to target the box we'll say width is going to be 80 margin 0 auto 
and that looks good pretty big okay let's come here we have to take this h1 and we'll call it resell your token set price so that's the title we have here now we're going to add the make it 60 the width is 60 and we have tagged the h1 and we send font size going to be 3 ram so that looks pretty good okay now we're going to is convert this to a number because we want to take input as a number not as a string okay text so that's what we have here looking fine we can type and as you can see we are it's going into minus we have to set the minimum value so minimum is going to be one ether i know it's pretty high but it's totally up to you so it's a one ether we have and that's the input and now we want to receive the data so when someone will click on that button list to marketplace we want to send couple of data okay and that's what we're going to receive here so let's receive couple of things from use state so we have use effect use state and use context we have to use this router and that's coming from router and we have to import that axis to make our api calls and here we're going to import that let's say hmm, what do we have to import import the button because we want to have a button which allows us to list so and we go to import the context and that's coming from nft marketplace context and here we go to use that context and that's coming from here and in that we're going to receive this function so what's the function name we have here so we're going to call this function so where it is so this is the function we have now let's come here we're going to call this function create cell so we have this function simply copy that one and let's come here we're going to call this function here okay now we're going to take this couple of use state price and we have to take this images so we we'll send the data in the router in the url with this two data okay and so we have that one and we're going to take this router use router okay and we're going to take this id token and this data is coming from the router.query okay right now we don't have the setup we're going to set that okay so just follow this setups and here we go to come and we go to say fetch let's say fetch nft is going to be an async function and in that we go to call the function if token uri is not ready then we want to return this one but if it's ready then we want to take the data and that data is coming from wait axis get and then we go to pass this token uri and in this in this data we have all the data price image so we go to receive that one data dot price and we have to receive this date set image image okay so we have this two data and that's coming from the url okay and we're going to call this use effect once and we're going to call that fetch and we're going to call this id okay we have to call the function so it's looking fine we come down we're going to take a resell function and it's going to be an async function and we'll say await create sales and then we have to pass this token URI price true and id because that's the input we have to provide to this function so this true is will this true will define that it's a resale okay nothing complex very simple and here we're going to push that once the process happen to author page okay so once someone's purchased we want to push them to the author page simple logic okay and now that's what we have here come here and we have to import the image tag as well and now we're going to take a image because we want to display the image display the image so let's come here we're going to take another div it will have a class called style result token box image and that we're going to have the image so if we have the image then we want to display the image so we'll have this image tag and that we have to provide the source of the image so we have the image all tag and we have to provide the width so width is going to be 400 and height is going to be 400 so that looks pretty good nothing complicated and we're going to take another div it will contain the button so resell btn and then we're going to call the button function and we have to provide the name resell nft and let's say we'll say handle click function and here we're going to pass that function so the function we want to pass is resell okay so that looks pretty good and this resell function will trigger the create sell okay the resell function so that's what we have here so this is the price we have now let's come here reload the browser and if we come here and if we try to list this if we click on this list on marketplace okay the data is not displaying okay we have, don't have anything in the url so let's come here and click on one more time okay my bad actually we have to send the data we haven't done anything 
so we'll come here close this one and we'll come here we'll go to the pages and ft details in that close on click on the description and here we're going to send the data okay so let's come back to the list to marketplace button so let's come here so here we are only redirecting to the resell token function resell token page now we have to send the data along with that okay so we're going to convert this into a template literal so simply remove this and convert that into a template literal and here we're going to construct the url so in the url we're going to send this data exactly okay so here i have simply copy and paste the data which i want to send so this is the data id and in that id we have to send the token id and the token uri which is we have inside this nft token uri so this is the data we are sending there okay so simply save it make sure you save send the exact data as we have here and now we will receive this data and that would be working fine so this is the url we are constructing and that's what we are receiving with this id and token uri which is coming from query okay so let's come here go back to the nfts and here we have the nft now if we click on this list on marketplace you can see we have the image image is displaying and the token uri is already passed in the function so anybody can buy it but this image looks really bad okay okay so in the url we have all the data token uri id url so things are looking fine let's come back to code and close this one close this one and come here okay sorry this is the image we have copy that one and simply come to this and actually we have to provide the margin margin block is going to be let's say four ram so we'll have some space from top and bottom okay so we have some good space now let's come here and sorry my bad the height is going to be four not hundred so here we are with four so now it will look good save it and here we have this perfect image displaying the nft so they can enter the price and they can buy the nft okay so click on let's do one thing let's type the price one three two four click on this and here we are getting an error it says that create sale is not a function why so and let's change this to arrow function okay maybe sometime you don't know what's the problem happening you have to make this little bit changes to find out okay so we're going to call this resell function normally so let's come here we have to reload the page and still we are getting the same error let's come here in the nft marketplace context and here we have to do a couple of changes so simply take this router cut this one and that's what we're going to call here okay in this function because we are already using this uh, like create sales router there okay so that's why we have to cut and paste here and here we have to do the changes okay so here we have the id instead of sending the url we have to send the id so we have the id and that's what we're going to pass here okay so we have to pass the id make sure you do this change and so if we come back to the smart contract here you can see that we have this resale token s is in a small case not in capital so make sure you do the changes simply copy and paste this here resale token in small case and save it come back to the application and let's try one more time so 34 and again we are having the same issue we have done a couple of changes but still the problem is there okay i'll try to fix this problem in the next video okay this video is already getting very big and i have to fix this one because i check all the code and it's still having this issue so in the next video we'll try to fix this problem i have to find out the what the problem exactly happening in the code okay so that's what we're going to do in the next video so we have the problem right up here okay so things are looking good but we have some issues here we have to check i have to check so let's close this for a time being okay close this one and close this one close this one okay so i hope that you guys have understood whatever we have done so far we have done a lot of things and the final thing is left is to add that resell functionality and that's what we're going to do in the next video okay so let me find out the problem which we are having in the code so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have found this valuable if you have still any question any query make sure you do leave in the comment section and recently i have created this discord server okay because many of you guys having a lot of issues in the installations of the 
packages installation writing the code or writing the smart contract so a lot of you guys have gave me those comment it's very hard to answer all your queries in the comment section because you guys are telling me that you guys not able to install the certain packages you're not able to write the smart contract facing a specific problem so in the small line it's very hard to tell you that what's the problem exactly you are facing so because of that what i have done i have created this discord servers where we will build this community those who are participating in this project will try to help each other okay don't expect that always i'm going to answer that answer your query okay you have to put your query in the discord server we will have uh, other members there and they will respond to the query if they have faced a similar problem or if they have a better solution okay so this is how we have to work together okay it's very hard to answer all the comments which you guys are giving me in the comment section because sometimes what happening that i get the notification for the comment but when i'm opening that video and to see the comment the comment is no longer there it's not displaying in the comment section but it's displaying in the only notification so i'm having those issues as well i don't know what's the problem they have in the youtube comment okay so the comments are sometimes not, not displaying and you guys think that i'm not able to answer response to you guys okay so make sure you join this discord server here i've divided in three categories so one is for smart contract one is for template one is for integration and one is for api so if you have any problem in any one of these topics make sure you leave your query along with the images okay snippet of the code so we'll try to help you properly okay so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have any questions any doubt do leave in the comment section and if you are new to my channel watching this video for the very first time make sure to hit like and subscribe that will motivate me to come up with this amazing project so hope you guys are great having a wonderful day so with that said now let's move to the next video see you there